For me, a future maker is definitely you have to be somebody that dare to take action or else we're just always staying in our comfort zone where we are unable to break through. My name is Kervin. I'm from Malaysia. I'm a barber, but previously I'm a hairdresser. So I've been cutting hair for 19 years now. When I first got the invitation to count future makers for the second time, I'm grateful that the brand appreciate our own talents. There's two styles that I did. Is The first one is the long trim with long quiff. Because it's a long trim, so I do a slick back on the side. I do a natural quiff on the top. And my second look is more into a natural curls. For the second time coming back in here, you come with not just the experience, but as well as the responsibility to further on the whole future maker's definition. It's something that come back to ourselves because obviously we can't tell what's gonna happen in the future, but it very much depends on what we are doing on this present moment right now. So to be a future maker, I think it has to come from the responsibility towards ourselves. So if we can make the wrong decisions, 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 as a future maker, as a barber, I think it's not just only we talking about right now because since the moment Yo J Wo invented the hair clipper, he basically changed the world. That's how we cutting hair right now. So basically, we are the future makers for more than a hundred years ago.